नमस्ते लर्नर्स नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द वीडियो ऑन कोलंबिक फोर्स ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक्स एंड टुडे इज ट्वेंटी सिक्स ऑफ मार्च ट्वेंटी सिक्स ऑफ मार्च टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी कोलंबिक फोर्स और इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक फोर्स बिटवीन द टू चार्ज पार्टिकल्स एज गिवन बाय द हेनरी कमेंडिस लाइक चार्जेज रिपेल टू अच अदर ईच अदर एंड अनलाइक चार्जेज अट्रैक्ट टू ईच अदर आफ्टर दिस कंसेप्ट कोलंबिक फोर्स हैज डन अ वेरी गुड एक्सपेरिमेंट ऑन दिस कंसेप्ट ऑन टॉक्सियन बैलेंस विद द हेल्प ऑफ पीथ वॉल This is an experiment done by the Pulum. The full name of Pulum is Charles Augustine D. Pulum. Here, D represents the family, area, country, period, or surname, and the name is Charles Augustine D. Pulum, and also known as Pulumic force or electric force the force between two charged particle is called electric force or coulombic force the two charged particles means like charge repel to each other and unlike charge attract to each other okay it is very simple all you know about this and now the main concept of this force is first of all what is the law law is given by the coulomb after the experiment of torsional balance with the help of pith wall this is different topics and that's why i am not discussing here and the law is when two charged particles are kept near to just like i think a distance r one charge is q1 and another charge is q2 and when two positive charge are kept to each other then a force is acted on this equal force f is here also and f is here also this f is directly proportional to product of charges product of charges and this force is also Inversely proportional to a square of distance between two charge particles. Is clear? The there are two things. One is directly proportional, and other is inversely proportional to a square of distance between them. And uh, the little concept, yeah, the concept of these two equation came after this experiment. means torsional balance after this experiment coulomb decided the force between two charged particle is directly proportional to the product of charges and inversely proportional to a square of distance between uh, them and this after the getting these two relations he he just correlate f directly proportional to q1 q2 by r and as everyone knows when proportionality is removed then a equal sign and constant is uh, came and this is q1 q2 by r square this is very simple everyone knows about this k is proportionality constant pro Proportionality constant. Proportionality constant. Here I want to uh, just uh, point out one thing. This k is small. Okay, remember it. Proportionality constant and the value of proportionality constant is one upon four pi epsilon naught, and the value of this is approximate. 9 into 10 to the power 9 newton meter square by coulomb square 
actually this is not the exact value this is the average uh, just equal value just you have seen 8.98755 this is just like a mobile number that is very tough to remember it then you just remember 9 into 10 to the power 9 9 to the power 9 newton meter square upon coulomb square this symbol is read as read as read as read as what epsilon epsilon not n o u g h t not epsilon not or epsilon zero epsilon zero epsilon zero but in physics this is called permittivity permittivity of free space free space or 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 absolute permittivity absolute permittivity absolute permittivity epsilon not and the value of this is 8.85 into 10 to the power minus 8 here is 8.85 into 10 to the power minus 12 and unit remember unit is coulomb square by newton meter square coulomb square by newton meter square per newton per meter square 8.85 and coulomb square per newton per meter square okay means this is the proportionality constant there is no confusion as you know in the gravitation this is also the force is what f is equal to m1 m2 by r square means one constant is g and the value of g gravitational constant is 6.67 10 to the power minus 11 here also is newton meter square by kg square very very simple this law is also given by the newton and uh, this is one is the proportionality constant a and m1 m2 is the uh, directly proportional to the product and r square similar actual the chapter electrostatics and gravitational both are uh, similar in many ways okay just like in numericals gravitational field here is electric field there is gravitational potential then here is electric potential and uh, just like electric force gravitational force okay now i am going to discuss more thing on this this is this law is very simple the law becomes what the force between two charged particles force between between two charged particles charged particles is directly proportional to directly proportional to proportional to product of charges product of charge and inversely proportional to inversely proportional to proportional to a square of distance between them a square of distance between them between them okay this is very simple but this is very small thing and there is no need of concept here and now the next thing is law is completed formula is completed both two topics the two things are discussed very well and i know you understand it and the one is formula law is finished value value means one thing is here i want to discuss this is the proportionality constant and one one by four pi epsilon naught is equal to nine into approximate equal to 9 into 10 to the power 9 newton meter square by coulomb square and the value of epsilon naught is the value of epsilon naught is 8.85 10 to the power minus 12 coulomb square by newton meter square two or three times uh, uh, question is asked the, what is the value of uh, absolute permittivity that's why you must remember it for the objective purpose or next thing this if you want to find the force between two charge force between two charge in air this form force between 
टू चार्जेस टू चार्जेस इन एयर इन एयर ओके देन फॉर्मूला इज एफ ए इज इक्वल टू वन बाई फोर बाय सेवन नॉट क्यूबल क्यू टू बाई आर स्क्वायर ओके वेरी गुड बट इन मीडियम इन मीडियम मीन्स अदर देन एयर अदर देन एयर एंड वैक्यू अदर देन एयर एंड वैक्यू एयर एंड वैक्यू देन फॉर्मूला बिकम्स एफ एम इज इक्वल टू वन बाई फोर पाई इफ सेवन नॉट इज नॉट हेयर एंड क्यू वन क्यू टू बाई आर स्क्वायर एवरीथिंग इज सेम बट हेयर इफ सेवन नॉट हेयर इज सेवन This is very big difference. This is the force in medium. Means one thing is word here. Means the force between two charges in air and the force between two charges in medium is different. But in gravitation, the force between two masses, either in air or either in medium, is same. No difference is there. But here is difference. If medium is introduced, if medium is introduced between two charges, then force effects and the value of force differs. And now, if you divide something just like F A by F M, then it becomes one by four pi sine naught q one q two upon R square into R square by Q1, Q2 or into 4 pi itself means 4 pi and 4 pi cancel out. Q1, Q1 cancel out. R square cancel out. It becomes epsilon by epsilon naught. And epsilon and epsilon naught is called relative permittivity. This is and also known as dielectric constant. Capital K here. Here is small k and here is capital K. Or dielectric constant, relative permittivity, or dielectric constant. K is called K is called dielectric constant. K represents dielectric constant, constant. And in Salen R, in the name is different. Uh, relative permittivity, relative permittivity, permittivity. And here, if Salen is the permittivity of medium permittivity of medium permittivity of medium okay so this is what the this force in air this force in medium and the ratio is known as relative permittivity if salen by it means what it means it means if salen is equal to if salen not or if salen okay this one means one thing is Here, F M is now Q one by Q two. Okay, just like one by four pi epsilon not epsilon r Q one Q two by what r square means the force in air by epsilon r or force in air by dielectric constant means the force in medium is One by k times of force in air means force reduces. This one force is reduced by the k time. Force in medium reduced reduced by the k times than force of force between two charges in air. Okay, this is very simple. Means someone just like a dielectric constant is given. Uh, 81, then 81 bottle, 81 I think, 81. Then force, the value of force becomes uh, less, uh, 81 times less. Okay, this is one. This is very good concepts, and uh, there are so many questions depends upon these relations only, and this is very simple. No any other. One thing also, in Coulombic force, in numerical portion. There are two charge particles, alpha charge particles and neutron. Alpha part charge particles considered as a helium nuclei, and helium nuclei, as you know, two proton, two neutron means mass is four times and charge is two times. Alpha particles, 
charge two times or mass four times of proton mass four times of proton and charge two times of electron or proton and here is deuteron deuteron is the hydrogen means one two atomic number is one and mass number is two that's why one proton and one neutron it means deuteron has one electron means one uh, one uh, sorry one proton and one neutron means one unit charge but mass is two unit mass is double of proton and charge is same as proton it is deuterium and if you want to compare the gravitational force and electrostatic force between these particles then you carefully use the formula when you want to find the gravitational force then you use gravitational force which formula g m1 m2 by r square and if you want to find the electric force then use k q1 q2 by r square okay that's why i am written here the value of mass and the value of charge here is two important particles alpha particles and neutron so many times ask the questions in competitions also what is the force between and the charge mass ratio charge mass ratio is what the ratio of charge and mass charge is 2 and mass is 4 then 1 is to 2 and here is 1 is to 2 also and if somebody asks the question okay, what is the charge and mass ratio of alpha and neutron then you can easily find the ratio of charge and mass and the charge and mass ratio is very uh, common uh, to ask in examination okay now it is completed the uh, now it, uh, the third thing is vector form it is also important for board board examination vector form vector form is as you know one charge q1 other is the q2 this force is f12 means what f12 is force on charge q1 q1 force on charge q1 due to q2 due to charge q2 and distance distance is r to 1 r to 1 both are in same direction r to 1 okay r to 1 same direction means r to 1 means position of position of q2 towards q1 Yeah, uh, position of Q two to Q one, Q two to Q one position. Remember that the position is in same direction of force. That means if you want to write F one to vector, then okay, then uh, just concentrate your mind one by four pi epsilon naught, and this one is Q one Q two upon R square. If you remember. r is the distance between two charged particles and this one is r to 1 cap cap or remember you know the vector okay then r to 1 cap means you know the vector means r to 1 vector by r to 1 vector mod means r to 1 vector by r simply r it means if you want to write f1 to vector Is equal to one by four pi epsilon naught q one q two by r square. When I am using epsilon naught, it means force in air q one q two and q one q two and this one is r q and this becomes r two one vector. When you you write r two one vector, then power is r q and if you want to write r two one cap, then r square. Similarly, similarly. You can write F two one vector force on two charge two due to one is equal to one by four pi epsilon naught q one q two by R q or into R one two vector. As you know, R one two vector is equal to minus R two one vector. This is very important because both are. Same in magnitude but opposite in direction. Just you look here. This is the F two one vector and the position is R one two. This position is R one two and the vector is R two one. 
position is R1 2 and both are R1 2 and R2 1 represents the same magnitude means magnitude are same R1 2 mod is equal to R2 1 mod equal to bar magnitudes are same but directions are opposite that's why I am writing this oh, F1 2 is equal to what F12 is equal to 1 by 4 by epsilon naught and Q122 by Q122 by R square. Q122 by R square and this becomes R21 vector. And 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 uh, one thing more, if you want to write 1 by 4 by epsilon naught Q1 Q2 by R square, then you may write this one minus R12 vector. Just like this, R12 equal to minus R21, then R21 is equal to minus R12. A minus R12 means, R12 means this force F21, it means minus F21 vector. That is F12 vector is equal to minus F21 vector. Or you very well know, if a force is in equal magnitude and opposite in direction, it means it follows Newton's third law of motion. Third law of motion. Okay, this is the main of vector, formula of vector form. Vector form to the force is a vector quantity, and this is very necessary to understand the vector form to solve the questions on the basis of this this task. Then it is also completed. Now the properties. Properties. Properties means it is. It is in intervening medium. It depends on the intervening medium. Intervening medium means when two charged particles, yes, very good. Just I want to discuss here. Intervening medium, how it depends. How it depends. Intervening medium. Oh, very common example. Just for example, when a sodium loses electrons, then it becomes positive charge. And chlorine gains one electron, it becomes negative charge. When sodium ion and chlorine ion kept closer, then a compound is formed NaCl, which is common salt, NaCl, sodium chloride, common salt. Because ionic, this is an ionic compound, why is ionic compound? Ionic compound means the force, bond which, bond is the, bond is what? Bond is the attraction force between two opposite nature of charged particles. One is the positive charge and the negative charge and attraction force is between these two charged particles and this bond formed means attraction force. Bond means what? Attraction force. Attraction force. Okay? Attraction force. When water is, water is, water is just between the two molecules then sodium and chlorine ions are separate to each other. And it is soluble in water. Why? Why? Force in medium is actually uh, force in air by 81. Means the force 81 dielectric constant. Uh, one dielectric constant. What is dielectric? Dielectric is an insulator. Dielectric constant. Dielectric is an insulator. Uh, a special type of insulator which is uh, not allowed to flow the charge, but it. Uh, it uh, holds charge or suppose that a rearrangement of charge due to the due to the external field imposed on the uh, on the um, on the insulator or any material any ins dielectric is a material as like insulator which does not allow to flow the charge but shows some electrical behavior that is why uh, dielectric is not a perfect insulator in my view, insulator word is nothing. Okay, and there are so many discussion is going on on this topic. Okay, there is the force between sodium ion and chlorine ion is reduced, and that's why sodium and chlorine breaks and is soluble in water. This is very good example of electrostatic force between uh, in air or in medium. In air, it becomes solid, and in medium, it is soluble in water. Because the force, electrostatic force reduced. It means, I prove that electric charge, electric force depends, uh, uh, 
डिपेंड्स अपॉन इंटरवेनिंग मीडिया सेंट्रल फोर्स सेंट्रल फोर्स मीन्स आई डिस्कस इन क्लास इलेवन सेंटर ऑफ वन बॉडी टू सेंटर ऑफ अनदर बॉडी ए सेंट्रल फोर्स लाइन ज्वाइनिंग मीन्स इफ टू चार्ज पार्टी सपोज दैट दिस देन अट्रैक्शन और इंपल्सन फोर्स ऑन दिस आइदर दिस और दिस बट इट नेवर लाइक दिस एंड नेवर लाइक दिस बिकॉज दिस आर ऑल्सो इक्वल एंड अपोजिट बट इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल दिस वन इज राइट दिस वन इज राइट दिस वन इज राइट दिस वन लाइन ज्वाइनिंग फोर्स इज दिस इज द लाइन ज्वाइनिंग फोर्स कंजर्वेटिव फोर्स एज यू नो कंजर्वेटिव फोर्स इज दैट फोर्स इन विच रॉन्ड्री वर्क दन इज जीरो और पार्क इंडिपेंडेंट वर्क दन एंड न्यूटन नॉ दिस इज द कंपलीशन ऑफ चेप टॉपिक ओलंपिक फोर्स बट वर्किंग इज सुपर पोजिशन प्रिंसिपल सुपर पोजिशन दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सुपर पोजिशन प्रिंसिपल प्रिंसिपल मीन्स नथिंग इट इज ए फैक्टोरियल सम वेक्टोरियल सम वेक्टोरियल सम बस दिस इज ओनली थिंग्स वेक्टोरियल सम ओके वट इज वेक्टोरियल सम वेरी बेसिक थिंग्स इज वेक्टोरियल सम वट इज वेक्टोरियल सम सपोज दैट ए चार्ज पार्ट इज इज केप्ट क्यू नॉट दिस इज द क्यू नॉट ओके एंड दिस वन इज क्यू वन दिस वन इज क्यू वन टू this one is q3 and the line joining this one is the force on force on particle this due to particle 1 now the force on particle this okay repulsion force particle this f02 and this particle is also here means the particle on this is f03 f03 and there so many means net force acted on this particle Due to these particles, f vector means f net vector is sum of f not vector plus f not two vector plus f not three vector. This sum is called superposition theory. Means vectorial sum. It algebraic sum is different than vectorial sum. Algebraic sum only give the numerical value, but vectorial sum give the magnitude as well as direction, and that's why it is different. Okay, next. Vectorials. And now the time to solve the question. One question very common, and it is also asked in board exam 2018. I think this is the question paper. Uh, this question is uh, 2018. The question board question paper 2018. Okay, three marks question. And also aim for it. Question number. Uh, You can see question number. Okay, then charge particles. This one, this one, this one, this one. Okay. Suppose according to question, the A is here, B is here, C is here, and D is here. The charge is uh, I think 16 into 10 to the power minus 9 coulomb, or here is 32 into 10 to the power minus 9 coulomb. Here is minus 16 into 10 to the power minus 9 coulomb. Or according to question, find the force on this unit positive charge. Okay? Then this is plus charge. This is plus charge. This is plus charge. Then plus plus. First of all, you concentrate on the particle where uh, question one to find the net force. Means net force question required. the net force calculated on this part means that's why it is repelled by this force the repulsion force is represented as this and the name is fab okay fab and this one is the minus charge this one is plus charge then this charge part is attract the other as like this force on a due to d that's why it is called fab This is F D force on A due to D force on A due to B and this is the force on A force on A due to C. This is very simple. This becomes 90 degree and this becomes 45 degree algebraically. When a distance between this is R and this is R, this becomes root 2 R. Okay, Pythagoras theorem. Easy, uh, you can see it. Then. If a 
Kc means force is K U1 Q2. This is a small K. You always remember it. K1 Q2 by R square. Then the value is Q1 Q2 by R square. Okay, don't worry. And uh, only depends upon charge and R. It means force AB is equal to force uh, AB is equal to K Q1. Q1 is what? 1. Q1 is 1. And Q2 is 16 into 10 to the power minus 9. Here you see that the value of and R is R square. R square I think uh, according to person it is uh, I think 4, 4 centimeter. Then 16, uh, 4 centimeter square. Uh, one thing. Here one need consider magnitude. Direction is for the, is a negative sign for the direction of force. And I am here uh, considering direction due to the negative charge. That's why I am not using here negative value. Then the value becomes K. K means 9 into 10 to the power 9. And it becomes 16 into 10 to the power minus 9 upon 16 into 10 to the power minus 4 meter square and this one is uh, you know it is I left it 16 and 16 cross it this one this one cross actually uh, mathematically it is not correct cross 10 to the power 9 and 10 to the power minus 9 plus 9 minus 9 becomes 0 it becomes 9 then 9 into 10 to the power minus 4 newton this FAB and FAD. Now the force is FAC. FAC is a little bit different because distance is different. Then K, Q1, Q1 is similar 1 or Q2 is what? 32. 32 into 10 to the power minus 9 by again uh, root 2 R means root 2 R whole square. This means K means 9 into 10 to the power 9 and this one is 32 10 to the power minus 9 by 2 r square means r means what 4 into 10 to the power minus 4 and 4 16 16 16 then 32 16 2 cancel out and 9 and 9 again cancel out it becomes again 9 into minus 4 this force and this force is equal okay and now the next thing, the resultant force between the resultant force between F R dash means this force, resultant force F R dash. This is the 45. Means, sorry, uh, angle can be considered. F means 90 degree. Uh, both are equal. Then one formula I have read in class 11. 2 F cos theta. The cos theta here 90 degree by 2. It becomes 2 F. And uh, 2 F or uh, cos 45 degree means root 2 F 45. And F R, F R is the resultant force between F, F, F A C and F R dash. Means F R means the resultant force between F A C and plus F. Uh, I share the whole solution on WhatsApp group. You can see there. Uh, FR dash. Then FAC. FAC is FAC is the same value F square and FR dash is root 2 F. I can, can consider this one is F let. This one is also F let. Okay. Then the value is under root. The value is this one is square. The th root 3 F means 9 root 3 into 10 to the power minus 4 Newton. This is the answer. Okay. There are so many types of um, questions given in a super mind inquiry and uh, you can solve it. And your homework is just solve the chapter 1 and chapter 2. If you solve this, uh, uh, the two chapters, then you prepare electric field and electric potential for the tumor. Thank you very much.